Like any good home mechanic, a good home chef should have a well-stocked toolbox. Here are the three essential tools every kitchen should have and how to maintain them. The first essential is the chef's knife. The perfect length for a chef's knife is anywhere from 6 to 10 inches. The one I have here is an 8 inch knife from Global. A good chef's knife should start out with good steel. This Global knife is handmade from high carbon stainless steel. The high carbon content creates a hard blade that can hold an aggressive edge and stay sharp longer. The knife should feel nice in the hand and be well balanced. A balanced knife will allow you to maneuver around kitchen prep with ease. No matter how good the steel is, your knife will eventually dull. A dual-sided whetstone block will ensure your knife is always ready. For the home cook, a 1000 6000 grit block will suffice. The 1000 grit side will do a majority of the work and sharpen the dull edge. The 6000 grit will refine the edge even further and hone the edge to a razor sharp finish. A good cutting board is the most underrated tool in the kitchen. It provides a large stable surface for food preparation. This is a walnut booze block that has served us well for many years. This board is an edge grain cutting board that will dull your knife faster, but it is less porous than an end grain cutting board. The less porous surface makes the surface suitable to cut proteins on without worry of contamination. Maintenance of this tool couldn't be easier. Wash the board with warm soapy water and allow to air dry. After drying, take some food grade beeswax with mineral oil and work it into the board with your hands. Allow the board to dry and you will be left with a conditioned hydrophobic surface. Finally, the workhorse of any kitchen, the cast iron pan. It retains heat well, provides hard sears, and can go directly from the stove to the oven. The only thing you have to be worried about is highly acidic foods as they will damage the seasoning. Not to worry though, as unlike Teflon pans, the nonstick surface of a cast iron pan can be restored with a little elbow grease and patience. To season a cast iron pan, first preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Wash the pan thoroughly with hot water and soap. Towel dry the pan, then place the pan over medium heat for one to two minutes. Use a high smoke point oil and rub over the exposed iron. Follow up with a dry towel and wipe off any excess oil. Put your pan into your 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes, remove the pan and apply more oil. Repeat three to four times or until the desired surface finish is achieved. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace makes it easy to create a website with their award-winning designs and 24-hour technical support. You can host your own personal website or even your wedding website on Squarespace. Jennifer and I designed our wedding website in about a day. This made it easy for our guests to have a constant wedding resource, arrange accommodations, and even RSVP. Get 10% off your Squarespace subscription by using the link down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this look at my favorite kitchen essentials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.